Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis, and this is fifth part of our Linux Zero to Hero networking series. And today we are going to see netstat and ss uh, command. These are almost the same commands, but one command you can use without being root, and the other you need the root uh, user access to uh, run the command. Well, the good news about this video is that now I am using total open source tools to create my videos and uh, in this video I'm using this simple screen recorder and I hope uh, you will uh, you guys will like this so let's start first of all you can see that I have like two screens one uh, is like as a normal user over here and this one is as a root user so let me first start uh, as a normal user and try to run netstat so netstat basically it stands for network statistics and if I run netstat you can see that I am able to run this without uh, uh, without the root permissions so but there is another command which is uh, same as netstat so it's called ss command and ss command is uh, that I need a root permission to run the ss command and if in this window where I'm logged in as root if I try to run ss command you will uh, you can see that it will run almost the same uh, just like uh, netstat okay so let me just clear the screen and finish this with netstat okay so first thing is what if I want to check with netstat uh, netstat dash uh, a this is to list all and this will give me like active internet connections what I have right now and basically it lists all okay and okay let me control C uh, okay then there is a command called netstat hyphen a n n stands for do not resolve the uh, names okay so if I run this it's not going to resolve the names L stands for list let me just run it one by one at start dash L will list uh, the listening uh, current listening uh, addresses okay uh, let me just bring back my okay so here's the current listing addresses okay all right then we have this netstat to list all the tcp connections netstat dash t okay you can list the tcp connection to list the udp connection you will you can just use netstat u okay okay and basically you can combine all these things like net stat let me clear the screen first net stat dash a n t l u p p is for ports okay and it will list all the uh, tcp and udp protocols and the ports and the listening addresses and it's not going to resolve the name this is really important while troubleshooting okay but you can see that this just command just went really uh, quick so you can use the less command pipe it to less and now you can just easily scroll up and scroll down okay excuse me so you can see that my team viewer is running sshd is running uh, what if you just want to list only SSH so you can use this command netstat dash ant lup grep colon 22 and you can see that it's listening on SSH or port 22 okay what if you want to see the routing table you will use netstat dash r command it will give you the routing table uh, routing information then there is 
uh, about the kernel information you can get netstat dash i it will give you kernel interface table and if you need the extended kernel information you can just use the dash e command it will give you extended information okay and you can always pipe it to less and you can see that kernel interface table it will give you information about your adapters ethernet cards wireless cards and all the important information which is not um, normally available okay then uh, one last command I would like to show is it's going to be yeah the statistics like netstat let me clear the screen netstat dash s and you can see it gives you really good statistics about IP how many packets received send invalid regarding ICMP and lots of active connections TCP UDP and lots of information so that's it and this is also my first video it's kind of a test video uh, from my open source box and I hope uh, you guys you guys will like it please uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel uh, it's youtube.com forward slash linux king uh, like me on facebook linux king 77 and you can also follow me on twitter it's same like linux king 77 so thank you and goodbye